Okay, so this video is all about cameras because I love cameras, like a lot. I really, really love cameras. In this video, I'm gonna go over all the cameras I own and why I love them and why I use them. Some people may think like, yeah, you just need one camera and that's probably true, but there's so many different cameras for different things. From my sunglasses camera to my mirrorless camera to my 3D camera to my film cameras, I'm gonna share with you what they all do. All right, first up, the Olympus XA2. Listen to this opening and closing. It's the simple things. It's my 35 millimeter go-to film camera. When I'm just going out at night, meeting up with friends, and I just wanna capture some memories, I bring this camera. It's easy to just point and shoot. And it has flash, so at the night, it's really nice. There's no like focusing or anything, so there's not a lot of thought to taking these photos. I just kinda snap away. And that's what I love this camera for. This camera came out in the 80s, and I love the design and the size. As you can see here, the flash is on the side of the camera, but if you're not using the flash, you could take it off, and now it's like pocket size. I just love the size of this camera, it's so cute. A lot of times when I'm taking photos with this camera, the pictures come out out of focus, especially when I'm not using the flash, but that's okay because I don't really care about that as much. With these photos, as long as it, as long as it just captures that memory and evokes emotion, that's why I love the photos that it takes. I love shooting with film sometimes, like with this camera, because we don't have that instant gratification of taking digital photos and seeing the photos on the back of the camera right away. It's really nice to take photos and then kind of forget about them and get them developed like a month, two months later, and all of a sudden have 36 photos that you could look at these memories and it just feels special. The film I usually like shooting on this camera is Portrait 160 or Portrait 140. They're just my go-tos. Here's some examples of some of the photos I've taken on this camera. Next up, we have the Sony a7R III. This camera is my workhorse. It's my main camera. It's what I shoot most of all my client work on. Yeah, it's what I bring to music festivals. This is just my all around go-to camera where I get my highest quality stuff. It's the most powerful and most expensive camera I currently have. It's a mirrorless camera, which means it doesn't have a reflex mirror that DSLRs have, which means that light passes through the camera directly to the digital sensor. Also, the body is slim and lightweight and features a digital display instead of a traditional optical viewfinder. Back in the day, I used to shoot Canon and they're great cameras, but just too clunky due to the complex internal mechanics. I have not looked back since I made the switch. My favorite feature of this camera is the eye autofocus feature. Because I take a lot of portraits, this feature comes in clutch. A lot of times when I'm taking portraits, I like to shoot wide open. So with this lens I currently have on, and I usually have on, it's my Sony G Master 85 millimeter 1.4. So I shoot it at 1.4 aperture. And that means it has a really shallow depth of field so it can be really hard to focus. With portraits I want to focus on the eyeball and with this feature I could easily click in. I have it set up so it's the center button in the dial and I just click that in while I take a photo and it focuses directly on the eye and it's really helpful for when I take portraits. Here's some examples of some photos I've taken with this camera. Next up, we have the Fujifilm Instax. The only thing you need to know about this camera is that they are a fun and easy way to enjoy instant photo prints. They're pretty much Polaroid cameras. This camera is great for good times with friends. You can just bring it anywhere and take photos of friends, family, people, strangers, and it just prints out right then and there and you can give it to them at a, as a gift. It could make someone feel special. It's really nice to have a photo that's tangible that you could hold in your hands and touch. This wall is filled with memories that I've taken all on this camera. One of my favorite things to do when I have a celebrity photo shoot is if it feels appropriate Appropriate right after the shoot, if the mo if I find a good moment, I'll ask them if I could take a Polaroid of them or take a Instax of them. Polaroid sounds better. I take a Polaroid of them and then I'll ask them to sign it. Usually they almost always do. Just with friends in general, I like to just take photos of my friends at any given moment and just ask them to write something they're feeling on it. And I also collect them in a scrapbook. So I've been making a scrapbook of memories too. Yeah, the scrapbook is filled with different invitations, different letters, different notes, as well as a bunch of Polaroids and Instax and drawings. You can get creative with this camera, I highly recommend. Also, it's really easy to shoot with. Next camera is the Snapchat Spectacles. These are the third version, so they're the Spectacles 3. They are glasses with cameras on them. They capture your world in 3D and they're a step closer to a camera that can interact 
interact with the world around you. Right here and here are two HD cameras that capture 3D photos and can shoot in 60 frames per second, while four built-in microphones record immersive high fidelity audio. They obviously give you that POV effect, first person view. You can get more creative shots by filming both your hands in front of you, whether you're like cooking or throwing a football or whatever thing you're doing, you have two hands to do whatever you're doing instead of having only one hand on the camera and one hand doing whatever else or both hands on the camera with this you don't need any cans on the camera i actually got these because snapchat was a recent client of mine and i made a video for them here's a little snippet to that video right here these are the spectacles three they are sunglasses with a camera in them and have a new feature i'm about to test out but first i need some breakfast mm. i checked the time although i'm not sure why since i'm literally in no rush and all. if you want you could watch that full video on my instagram is this my most fun camera and my favorite camera at the moment? I think it might be. It's the Reto 3D film camera, which essentially gives photos movement. It's this wiggle effect. So it has three lenses in it. In one single moment, it'll take a shot from three slightly different perspectives. And then in post or on the Reto app, you can loop all three photos together to give it that wiggle effect. Here are some examples. It's focus free, it's plastic so you could beat it up. The lens equivalent is 30 millimeters and it's one of my favorite photo effects. It's great to use at sports events or to capture explosive moments where there's stuff happening in the foreground, in the background, or at parties or concerts or whatever. Here's even a TikTok I made kind of explaining the camera. This is a 3D camera, it has three lenses. Look at what it does. Ready, throw it. This camera is great, highly recommend. This is the most recent camera I bought, the GoPro Hero 9, or the GoPro Hero 9. I currently have a bite mouth in my mouth, so I could record, I'm gonna take it out of my mouth. I could record while using both my hands, just like the spectacles. This is a wider lens and records uh, higher quality videos compared to the spectacles. And I, I really wanted to buy this camera because of its uh, new stabilization features. It could shoot 4K and even 5K video, which I've never done, but it could do that. So that's cool. It has hyper smooth 3.0, which just makes the footage hyper smooth. Not really sure how they do it. It has this new feature, horizon leveling also, it can do time lapse, time warp, night lapses, and even live streaming. I haven't messed around with all these features yet, but I'm excited to once I do. Next up, we have the camera that's always on me, and that's my iPhone 12. I love the wide angle lens and the portrait mode features. The wide angle lens, AKA the 0.5 lens and portrait mode are game changers. I love shooting on this camera. It's kind of insane how high quality these images are. Whenever someone asks me like, what camera should I get? My budget is like $500 or around there. Most of the time these people have iPhones. I usually recommend just like the iPhone is the best camera you could get for anything under a thousand dollars, I think. I was recently in Central Park and I met this guy, this busker in the park and I wanted to photograph him but I didn't have my main my Sony a7 R3 on me so that happens sometimes and I end up just shooting in portrait mode on my iPhone so that's what I did and I posted these stories and his story to today I photographed if you want to check that out it's my personal project where I photograph people that I meet on the street storytelling is really key in my work and a lot of times the iPhone is the camera that's least intrusive and can tell the best story so that's why I film a lot of my TikToks on the iPhone here is my brandless camera, the AC800. And it has 8.1 megapixels and three times optical zoom. Actually, it doesn't do any of those things. It actually is a camera that just sprays water or whatever you wanna put in there, but I only put water in there. I like to mess around with my friends and this camera is a lot of fun. They're just like, hey, can I take a photo of you? And then I go to take a portrait of someone because that's something I would ask and it's a little prank it just squirts a little water in them no big deal it's funny usually get a bunch of bunch of giggles out of it but then a lot of times they're like all right all right that's funny but let me get you back since you got me so that's when I give them the camera but I could turn this part around on top of the camera where it shoots out the water so when they to go to take a photo of me they actually squirt themselves and then I wrecked them twice in a row <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, can I take a photo of you? Oh god, stop, stop, stop! You get me back, you get me back. They smile. Yeah. Oh god! <laughs> There's a reverse! There's a reverse! <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know, this camera is just hilarious. <laughs> it doesn't even take photos at all. And then we have my drone, the DJI Mavic original. This drone is magical. It is what I shot the whole quarantine cutie series on. This is the drone that I flew to Tori and I got her number with. So it holds a special place in my heart. This drone has not let me down until recently. I, I didn't calibrate it before I took off and I accidentally just flew it straight into my wall. So it is currently broken and I have to get it fixed. I'm droneless at the moment, but I, I have it right here and I can tell you about it. It can fly about 25 minutes and about 5,000 meters high at a speed of up to 40 miles per hour. It has a gimbal right here for the super smooth shots and it is super smooth. It feels like it's a tripod in the air. My favorite photo I took on it this year is my social distance circle photos that I took at Domino Park in Brooklyn. So this was right when all over the country they started to draw circles in the parks so people would social distance, but they could still go to the the parks. I don't know. I just like to think that this image that I took could be kind of timeless. Like we could be able to look back at this in years and be able to know like why this happened, where this is from. And I don't know. I'm just really proud of this shot and it feels special. So it's one of my favorite shots I've ever taken. And I took it on a drone. I shot a bunch of other fun things with this drone right here. And here's some examples. Last but not least, my last camera is my Sony a7S 3 which is what I'm shooting this whole video on right now. This camera I got specifically this year because I invested in myself and I told myself I wanna shoot videos and this is my video camera that I'm shooting all the videos on. Yeah, so far, so good, it's a new camera. I'm shooting this with the Sony a7S 3 right now with a 35 millimeter 1.8 lens, shooting at 1.8 because it's actually, I don't know if you can tell, but it's starting to get really dark. It's actually almost pitch dark in my room, but because I'm shooting at 1.8, it, it, I think it looks like it's a lot brighter than it actually is. That's actually what I've been shooting all the B-roll with of all the cameras in this video. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I'm leaving links for all the cameras down below in the description. So if you're interested in any of these cameras, check out the links below. And just a friendly reminder, remember to be kind to one another and drink water. Toodles. Ooh.